Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Holotide here, and let's talk about the Halo Infinite update for September 1st, 2022. So I'm trying to keep an open mind. I won't lie. I was extremely frustrated and disappointed when I saw the graphic for the, I guess, the, the developer update where it's the fall and winter roadmap. And I was just like, what in the world, bro? And then I watched the developer video with Joe Sketch, and uh, I forgot the new guy's name, and I'm super sorry, but I actually really like him. I'm awful with names, I'm sorry. But before we get into the video, I just want to say, if you like Halo content, I don't know how many more people are going to keep doing it after today. So go ahead and throw a sub my way. Thousands of you watch my videos who are not subscribed, so just go ahead and do it. Also, leave a like on the video. It helps me out in the algorithm. Let's get into it. But basically, I think from a high-level view, people are going to see that Season 3, titled Echoes Within, is not releasing until March 7th of 2023. That is six months from today. And at this point, I really do feel conditioned to, you know, I guess prepare for six-month seasons. And I was super upset about that. And I was like, what is happening and all this other stuff. But then... I watched the video, I listened to them, I looked at the roadmap again, and the winter update, which is coming out in pretty much a month, it's November 8th, makes it seem a lot less doomer, in my opinion. So in November, we're going to get the Forge beta, campaign network, co-op, and mission replay is cool. We're going to get a free 30-tier battle pass, which is going to be, I think, all the Reach armor that they didn't have available already and we get those two new maps the detachment and argyle which are from what i understand they're forge maps i don't know if that means developers made them in forge or if people from the forge council made them in forge for this season so we're getting two new maps and from what i understand as well they're both arena maps so no new btb maps we're also getting match xp beta the covert one flag game mode which seems pretty cool the winter contingency event again, but it says two, so I guess it's going to be a little bit different. An event in January called Joint Fire and Quality of Life Improvements. And that's only, that that is lasting from November until March. So it's going to be like four months, which is, all, I mean, I technically that's like a regular season. And then season three in March, we get Arena and Big Team Battle Map. They look pretty good. I won't lie, the, the two BTB maps they showed, I, I really like. We're getting the DMR, which kind of stinks because I was hoping it was going to be, you know sooner rather than later i would have loved for it to be in the winter update new equipment which is the shroud screen a battle pass that's based around the spi armor so that's pretty cool i like that they did that and then we're going to get custom game browser in-game reporting new game modes such as vip and escalation new fracture event new narrative event forge beta updates and quality of life stuff so i was definitely doom and gloom i won't lie it's definitely a bittersweet kind of thing and i'm really trying to look at this from an unbiased point of view. On one hand, yeah, do I wish there was more content? Yeah, absolutely. Do I wish season three was happening in November? Of course. But really, the the winter update seems just like a season. I almost wonder if they had just made the winter update season three and just called it a day, if that would have gone over better PR-wise. I would have probably argued for that in the, the board meetings, so. Because I think people get a knee-jerk reaction. They're like, oh my god, season three is delayed again. You know, technically, I don't know if the winter update is a part of season two, but it's almost like a year season at that point. We're also not going to have a new Fracture event. I, I guess maybe they'll redo maybe the Tenrai event, an Entrenched event, so if you missed anything before, you can get stuff. But yeah, I think... This is something that I've thought a lot about, and the worst thing that a game can have happen is for the player base to feel apathy towards it. And honestly, I don't think we're at that point yet because people are still extremely, you know, upset. But the more and more I think about it, the more and more I'm, I guess, less worried because in November we're getting Forge. And I really feel like that's going to brighten people's spirits up. I don't know if Season 3 is supposed to be this relaunch of the game. But, you know, they talk about in the video that that is their their seasonal model that we should expect going forward. And you can see that it's March 7th through June 27th. I do hope that the narrative events are, are better and more substantial 
The thing is, is I know everybody just wants more. And with all the leaks and stuff happening, we, we've been so hyped up. And I think a lot of us, I don't know if we set our expectations too high or if it's just we know we're going to be disappointed no matter what. It's such a hard thing to juggle. So on a scale of 1 to 10, I guess for how excited I am, I'm always going to be excited. I think that that's, that's probably stupid. I'm excited to get stuff, you know? The free battle pass is cool for the winter update. I'm like at a 6 or a 7. I really want to see what happens with Forge. On a scale of 1 to 10, how worried am I? Like a 6. I just want Halo Infinite to be good and enjoyed by people. I'm going to think about this for a few more days. I'm going to see what the community's saying. See if there's anything that comes from 343 to kind of add on to whatever, you know, we get today. But really, I think the most important thing is, is I need to know your guys' and gals' opinions. So please leave them in the comments down below. You know... I don't censor anything here. I, I be You can speak freely as long as you're not attacking people. You're more than welcome to be upset and disappointed. And you can also be excited and happy. So let me know in the comments down below how you feel. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. Leave a like on the video so it helps me out in the algorithm. And I'll catch you around the ring. Peace.